watch, South Korea's president just said less three words Democrats wanted to hear about Trump. South Korean President Moon Jae-in just said the last three words about President Donald Trump that Democrats ever wanted to hear. This is sure to leave many liberals even more incensed at our brilliant president's achievements. President Donald Trump has been a genius at work with his efforts to rein in the rogue nation of North Korea and its out-of-control dictator Kim Yun-un. The task has been far from easy, and the president has taken flack from resentful liberals over his tactics since day one. But, now, they can put a sock in it after what South Korea's President Moon just said. In a speech on Wednesday, January 10, 2017, Moon credited President Donald Trump for helping to kickstart the first inter-Korean talks in more than two years. Moon held fast to his claim that Pyongyang would face even stronger sanctions if provocations continued. According to the Gateway Pundit, the talks between the two embattled countries took place on Tuesday, January 9, 2017, on the South Korean side of the demilitarized zone. In 2017, North Korea ramped up its missile launches and also conducted its sixth and most powerful nuclear test, resulting in some of the strongest international sanctions to date. The most recent sanctions sought to drastically curtail the North's access to refined petroleum imports and revenue streams that originated from workers abroad. Pyongyang referred to the recent sanctions as an act of war. Leaders from the two Koreas agreed at Tuesday's talks to resolve all problems between them using dialogue and additionally made a commitment to revive military consultations to avoid accidental conflict in the future. Seoul and Pyongyang last held talks in December 2015, according to Fox News. Following the talks between North and South Korea, President Moon had plenty to say about who was responsible for bringing the hermit kingdom to the table. I think President Trump deserves big credit for bringing about the inter-Korean talks, I want to show my gratitude," Moon told reporters at his New Year's news conference. It could be a resulting work of the U.S.-led sanctions and pressure. Boom! That should shut the Trump haters up for a while. This is an epic win for President Trump, who is attacked daily by the left for his foreign policy decisions. They really should just take a seat in the back of the room and remain silent to avoid further embarrassment at this point. After Moon praised Trump for his foreign policy achievements, his special advisor for foreign affairs and national security, Chung and Moon told Fox News, I agree 100 percent. Were it not for President Trump's pressures, North Korea would not have come to South Korea. President Trump deserves credit. Oh. That has to burn the ears of every Democrat in the country. Moon's special advisor also suggested the talks may precede a substantial bilateral discussion between the U.S. and North Korea in the future. North Korea is desperate to have talks with the U.S., but there are communication difficulties. What was the choice? You can go to Washington through South Korea, he said. In regard to fears that South Korea will put distance between itself and the Trump administration's established position on North Korea's nuclear weapons program, the special advisor said that won't happen. South Korea will go in tandem with the United States in dealing with North Korea, he said. The special advisor was sure to emphasize South Korea's reaction to President Trump's support for the current negotiation efforts. We heard what President Trump was saying, we support you even delaying the joint military drills, he said. I think it was an amazing development. Over the past several months, President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un swapped threats and digs via social media and statements released through the media. Many liberal handringers have warned the world that Trump would start World War III with his controversial yet effective tactics. It looks like they just got taken to school by the man they hate most. And American patriots couldn't be prouder of our president, President.